Hello and welcome to Touristy Sports on Trust TV. I am Emmanuel Fashimi. It's actually a lovely week. Uh, the beginning of uh, another brand new week, 18th day of the month of March 2024. And you know, I, uh, it was a sporting weekend and the African Games is ongoing in Ghana. Nigeria has entered into the area of strength and they are not leaving any stone on tongue. We got uh, Zanu, got our first gold medal, uh, medal in arm uh, wrestling, in arm battle. And it was a good one, fantastic outing for our arm wrestlers at the 2023 African Games. Arm wrestling debuting for the first time. Also, we saw cricket debuting for the first time and Nigerian also did not take uh, did not take last in that one they also came through uh, with the bronze medal for the women's uh, cricket team at the 2023 african games ongoing in ghana and you know what happened in weightlifting we swept all the gold medal also in wrestling uh, we also won all the gold medals that is available uh, for uh, wrestling especially the women and then in weightlifting the women also did the, the best in fact they were the overall uh, best team in the weightlifting for the women's category where we won all of the gold medals ahead of egypt but in the male counterpart we were ranked uh, the second best team in the may uh, for the male lifters uh, right there in accra ghana so a whole lot a whole lot has been going on in accra ghana that is at uh, the african games 2023 uh which was supposed to hold last year but because of logistics reason like you know it was uh, moved down to 2024 and we are having it a good time in Accra, Ghana, and you know, uh, today let's begin with this story. Like I said, we're starting from Ghana, where we where we are actually the powerhouse when it comes to tracks. The only place we are really afraid of uh, is the hundred meters for me, where we have Fred of Mayala of Kenya that has dominated that uh, area uh, for quite some time. But uh, our own uh, uh, the likes of uh, uh, Favor Gods in Brume and Co can actually hold their own. We have uh, the Olympic finalists there in Oka Google case. So the uh, athletics is starting today as we speak right now. The 100 meters heat for male is ongoing. I will also have the 800 meter uh, long distance uh, heat uh, later on today. So everything about athletics is starting right there uh, today in Accra, Ghana. You know Nigeria is a powerhouse. We are the defending champion in athletics and we are there uh, to uh, defend our title we won at uh, Rabat the last time out in Morocco. So we have the likes of a uh, Brume, uh, we have uh, the African Queen World Champion Toby Amuson in town in Ghana. So they are going to be doing us proud. Like I said, athletics is ongoing right now, 100 meters heat uh, ongoing in Ghana. And we have uh, the likes of uh, Favor or Gods in Brume in that aspect. We have a whole lot uh, to give when it comes to uh, uh, athletics. Nathaniel Ezekiel in the 400 meters uh, uh, race is also there. We have Chukwe Bukane Kwechi in short put, who's also in town. So a whole lot uh, is ongoing as we speak. But like, like I said earlier on, 100 meters heat for the male is ongoing. And we also have the 100 meter for the women's heat also later on. Everything is going to happen uh, in the 100 meters uh, uh, race for uh, today. So a whole lot, a whole lot in athletics. And like, we are the defending champions when it comes to athletics in the African Games. And we're also there to hold our own. Everything is starting uh, today. And uh, you are, we are to expect a lot of medals when it comes to uh, athletics. Uh, okay, let's stick talking about... Uh the African Games uh, over the weekend, we had a whole lot uh, of events that went down. We got our first gold medal by Zanu in arm wrestling. He, uh, she got that gold uh, medal for us. And we also equally had some gold uh, before those events. We were third on the medal table. But uh, after some of those events, we went back to the, uh, to uh, second on the medal table. We will get there. Uh, but for the Nigerian Yellow May Greens, they lost their first game to Tanzania by 45 rounds and they are ready to face Namibia in another battle uh, today uh, in their second game if they are to qualify for the semi-final you know the yellow greens women won the bronze medal uh, against uh, Uganda so we will be facing uh, Namibia uh, today for our second game the first game like uh, I said we lost by 45 runs to Tanzania all of these three teams are ranked ahead of Nigeria just like the female uh, yellow greens where they were ranked 27th and they 
we are the lowest ranked team in all of the countries that participated in the cricket aspect for the women. Also in the male aspect, uh, Nigerian uh, yellow male greens are ranked the lowest. Uh, they are the lowest ranked team, but they will be taking on Namibia in their second game if they are to get any chance of qualifying for the semi-final at all. Both Nigerian and Namibia lost their first game, their first uh, opening game in Group B. So well, let's see both teams that lost their game in their opening game in Group B. They will be locking hands today at the Achimota over in Accra, Ghana. That is where uh, our own yellow women's uh, green got the bronze medal against uh, Uganda. So let's see if the male can also get one better, maybe beat uh, Namibia today and then qualify for the semi-final. And from the semi-final, they qualify for the final. If they qualify for the final, no matter what happens in the final, if they win or they lost, that means they'll be getting silver. So let's see if the male can actually replicate what the women did by getting to the uh, semi-final or to the final and getting us a medal. The first time cricket will be debuting in African games and we are seeing uh, yellow greens women getting a bronze medal the first time out in the cricket uh, event and now the male are ready to do battle against Namibia. All right, we have Isaac Omediji from Bida joining us on the show this morning. Isaac, welcome to 360 Sports on Trust TV. We have been doing a whole lot in the African games and we are, uh, as it stands right now, we look at the first story. Athletics will be starting uh, today as we speak. 100 meters heat is ongoing and then we have other uh, heats to come up in the long distance races. Also have the 400 meter heat where we have uh, a Zeke and Nathaniel. We have Toby Amuson for the hurdles. We have uh, a Brume for long jump alongside Ruth Usoro. Chukwebuka and Ekwechi for short put. We have Namde for javelin. So a whole lot will be happening today. Athletics is starting in full but 100 meters heat is ongoing and you know Fred Omayala is our only obstacle in that <laughs> In that area so isaac a whole lot a whole lot over the weekend and nigeria is doing so well uh, in the african games i know egypt is ahead of us we, we are ahead of us but we are not uh, also a pushover uh yes Emmanuel, good morning and thank you for having me this beautiful morning again yes egypt uh is currently ahead and there's no way we will meet them considering the number of good medals they have won in this particular Af african games however if you look at athletics that is starting, that already started uh, a while ago uh, in the All African Games, we should know that that is our fortress as far as uh, competition in this All African Games is concerned. Because if we trace it back to when uh, the competition started in Congo Brazzaville in 1965, to date, we've won 309 medals in athletics. 309 medals in athletics. So that is sure that that is our fortress. That's a place we have been dominant. And our dominance, I'm very sure, will continue. With the caliber of athletes we have gone to you know I, i'm very impressed that we didn't just go with a large uh contingent we went with a contingent that can produce results and that is the most important thing it's not about going with 1000 athletes and at the end of the day we cannot win 500 medals which is even not available so we have you know prioritized areas where we have the strength and we're going to see the likes of say brume to sorrow toby amuson and the likes who are competing. Remember, we also have national record holders, national record winners in the track and field event. Who are also going to represent Nigeria? So it's something we should all look out for. And I think, apart from weightlifting, wrestling, boxing, probably armchair, uh, you know, game, athletics is another place where we can win a lot, lot of medals. Not just medals, but gold medals. Remember, gold medals count a lot in where you are placed on the post, I mean, on the table. And for the uh, yellow green male team. Uh, it's unfortunate that just as the ladies were, they were also currently la ranked last uh, among all the competing countries. And they've lost their first game. They meet another side that also lost its first game, talking about Namibia. So it's a game of losers who are trying to prove a point. And we saw our ladies getting an historic bronze medal. Nobody gave them a chance. So we shouldn't write off our men yet. Let's see them get a positive result against Namibia today. Okay, let them, let's see them getting a positive result against Namibia. Uh, for Namibia, they lost their game to Zimbabwe by 35 runs in their opening game, just the way Nigeria lost their own game against Tanzania by 
45 runs. Still talking about the African Games, let's quickly look, go straight to the medals table. Let's look at the medals table. Nigeria, after South Africa pushed us back to the third position, but we were able, after winning uh, two gold medals uh, uh, over the weekend, one from arm wrestling, that is Zanu getting a gold medal in the arm wrestling, we are back on the second position for the medals table now you can see on the screen let's quickly run over the medals table egypt sees, uh, stand first with 90 gold medals <laughs> uh, 35 silver 29 bronze a total of 154 medals for nigeria we are second with 27 gold medal 21 silver 28 bronze 76 in total south africa is third with 25 gold medals 29 silver 38 bronze 92 in total algeria fourth with 22 gold medals 30 silver, 37 bronze, 89 in total for Tunisia. They are fifth, 10 gold medals, 20 silver, 29 bronze medal, 59 in total. Ghana has uh, moved up to the sixth position from 14 to sixth position with nine gold medals. 22 silver, 15 bronze, 46 in total. We have Mauritius seven with seven gold medals, five silver, 10 bronze, 22 in total. Eritrea is eight with six gold medals, two silver, five bronze medals, and 13 uh, in total. Madagascar is ninth with four gold medals, uh, two silver, seven bronze medals to have 13 medals in overall. We have Morocco on the 10th position with three gold medals, seven silver, uh, and five bronze medal to have 15 in total. Cameroon is 11th. Uganda is 12th. We have Zimbabwe 13th with two gold medals, one silver, two bronze medal to have five in total. Benin Republic 14. Libya 15. We have Senegal on the 16th position on the medals table. Namibia 17th. Zambia 18. African uh, African Judo Union. They are on the 19th position. Then we now have uh, that is Central African Republic. Uh, we have uh, Guinea on the 20th position with just one gold medal uh, which they have won in total now uh, as you DJ, if you look at if you look at the uh, difference between um, Egypt and Nigeria 90 to 27 gold medal what can we actually do but definitely now that athletics is, has started we believe we can close up that gap a little bit a little bit but it will not be significant 90 to 27 very massive very very massive and that goes to show the investment these egyptians have already made in uh, their you know sporting activities in that particular country so we should just continue to hold on to second we can't come first no matter the number of medals even if we win all the good medals in athletics we will not catch up with with egypt Okay, if we win all the gold medals in athletics, we will not catch up with you. Isaac, if you can hear me properly, just join with your video so that we can see your visuals where you are. Not just your video alone, but for athletics uh, that has uh, started, we have the 100 meters heat ongoing and other races will also commence uh, later on today with other track uh, events and also the field event. Like I said, short put javelin is there. We have a uh, discourse and co. Uh, we don't have any representative in discourse but for javelin. We have Unam who will be representing Nigeria in that uh, aspect for the long jump. We have S.A. Brume and Ruth Usoro uh, who will be doing us uh, proud in long jump and for the uh, 100 meters hurdles we have toby amuson who also run in the four by one relay for the women and she also i think she also run the 200 meter race there about uh for uh sa uh, for toby amuson but let's see how it goes in athletics definitely definitely we are the defending champions in athletics okay. if we can win all of the medals then we have just a need to, we, we can close up the gap a bit, 90 to uh, 90 gold medals for Egypt. And look at Nigeria, 27 gold medals is a very, very wide uh, margin. But at the end of athletics, I believe that margin will, uh, will be reduced to uh, at least uh, maybe the barest uh, minimum because we still have other team sport. The handball team is doing well and other uh, team sport. We still have uh, the Falconets uh, who are also doing well in the African Games. But for the men, the Flying Eagles, they bow out of the competition uh, in, a, in a very uh, dismal uh, uh, manner that we don't want it. All right, let's uh, leave the African Games and come back home. Let's come to Nigerian, uh, Nigerian right now and talk the round leather game. And we'll be look at, uh, looking at the Nigerian Premier Football League for March Day 26. Action Park weekend, 10 games in all of the 10 centers 
fantastic result, good result. The second stanza of the Nigeria Premier League is getting tougher and tougher. And the NFF are also getting tough with referees. We've seen suspensions of referees. We've seen some referees that has been sanctioned, given suspension. Some has been expelled, definitely. And that is the way to go when you officiate the game and you don't officiate very well. You get the hammer of the league organizers and the NFF. Now, let's, go, uh, let's look at... Uh, the match day 26 results in the Nigerian Premier Football League. We have 10 games in all of the center. Let, let's start with the Southwest Derby, the big one. Shooting stars of Ibadan, uh, uh, in fact, got the bragging right against uh, Remo Stars in the Southwest Derby. 2 0 against Remo Stars of Ikene. Abia Warriors and Shonsai Stars of Akure played a goalless draw. Bayesha United beat Canopilas 2 1. A uh, Bendel Insurance uh, trash Doma United 4 0 at the Bend at the Samuel Ogbemidia Stadium in Benin City. Enugu Rangers, the only team that have not lost game, they still continue their own busy run. They defeated Lobby Stars 2 1 at the uh, Unamdi Azikiwe Stadium uh, in Enugu. Then Enuba International Peace Manager Tornadoes. 31, Aqua United and Gombe United at Pantami Stadium in Gombe. Played a 1-1 draw. Casino United beat uh, Fletcher United 2-1. Sporting Lagos against another Southwest team, Farah United. 2-0 it ended at the Unicorn Stadium in Lagos. Rivers United FC against Heartland FC of Wiri was 1-0. Christian Obi was happy that he is back to life, but eventually uh, Rivers United got the better of the Heartland FC of Wiri 1-0 at the Ado Machia Stadium in uh, Portaco. Now let's look at the table. Let's look at the Nigerian Premier Football League table before Isaac will react uh, uh, to the result and then the table. Let's have uh, the table and see what uh, teams, uh, the way teams are standing in the Nigerian Premier Football League. Lobby Stars still remain at the top of the table despite that loss to Enugu Rangers who are second. Lobby Stars have 46 points, uh, seven goal difference. Enugu Rangers have uh, 45 uh, points, uh, just one point behind the uh, Lobby Stars who have 12 goal difference. Anybody is now third position with after 26 games have 45 points. Plato United is on the fourth position with 44 points. Remo Stars fifth who lost their game also in the Southwest Derby to Shooting Stars of Ibadan uh, have uh, 42 points on the fifth position. Shooting Stars follow Remo Stars with 40 points. Canopelas is seventh with 38 points. Casina United is eighth with 38 points. We have Bendel Insurance on the ninth position with 37 points. Abia Warriors occupy the tenth position with 35 points. Let's look at the flip side of the table quickly. We have um, um, Abia Warriors on the tenth position. We have Sporting on the eleventh position. Sporting Lagos with 34 points. 34 points they have. Sunshine Stars is on the twelfth position with 34 points and minus one goal difference. Doma United is thirteenth with 33 points and minus six goal difference. We have Rivers United who have played a lesser game. They have three games in hand. That is Rivers United. They have 31 points uh, on the 14th position. Baeza United is 15th with uh, 30 points. Niger Tornadoes is 16th with 30 points. And we have Gombe United who have exchanged position with Heartland F FC of Oweri. Heartland is 19 with 23 points. And Gombe United is now 20th with minus 24 goal difference and 23 uh, points. Out of 26 games, that means they considered goals. Just only two games they did not concede. In the remaining games, they conceded 22 games so far for Gombe United, they considered goals. Isaac Omidiji, if you look at the uh, weekend games, it was interesting, fantastic, good results. Enugu Rangers continue down BT run. Uh, they considered in two games now, they've considered. And uh, it's looking go so good in the second stanzas of the Nigerian Premier Football League. Uh, you know, you, you just took the words out of my mouth because what Fidelity uh, is doing with the uh, Rangers has been very impressive. Uh, he, he has been a coach that most of all respects right from his time in MFM and he's getting it right now with the Rangers. Uh, you know, it's very funny to see where Doma United is now, considering <laughs> they were at a point jostling for the title. This time around, they are nowhere to be found. They are down after they also lost to Ben Desha by four goals to nothing. Nobody saw that coming. And for the bottom sides, you know, they are really competing hard for who will eventually go relegation. Right from number 14, Rivers United, well, let's say they have three games at hand. From Bayesa United, Tornados, Quara United, Aqua United, Atlanta and Gombe United, eventually out of these uh, five sides, 
Uh, so where we, that is where we have our definite uh, relegated club side at the end of the season. Because if you look at the, uh, the gaps between them, it's very insignificant. Uh, one game can change the season for any of the sides. So the MPFL has been competitive both at the top and at the bottom. Okay, both at the top and the bottom. Let's go back to the okay, first okay. side of the table. Let's look at the first three uh, teams, the way That's they the are standing. Lobby Stars, 46. Enugu Rangers, 45. The same points with Enyba. And Enyba are the defending champions. Now, um, today is Electrical told his boys that they should not be looking at uh, maybe winning the league. But the way things stand now, 26 games, we still have um, uh, about... Uh, 12 games to go there about uh, 13 games to go because we have 38 games uh, for the uh, for the league now uh, do you think any good rangers lobby stars anywhere and then let's not forget okay remo stars one to fifth i think uh these five teams do you think um um which one of them is looking likely at the end of the season uh do you think can lift the title because it's not getting hotter you see the politics of football would probably favor Ayimba. When I mean politics of football, I don't mean anything negative. They know what it takes. They know what it takes. They know how to play the game at this stage of the season. It fell so close to the top of the table. And for Fidelis, you could tell his uh, players not to think about the title. It's only just being modest. Uh, you cannot be at that particular position. Uh, you will not be thinking of the title. It's not possible. So it's thinking of it. And Lobby Star, despite losing to Enugu Rangers, that's the top of the league. So it's very important, but just a point between them and uh, Rangers as well as Ayimba. So the first five sides are Lobby, Rangers, Ayimba, played to United and Remo Stars, are still good enough to win the title. But if you ask me, I'll put my money on Ayimba because of the experience they have had at this stage of the tournament, I mean, of the season. Experience they had at, at, at yeah, this stage of the had, season. Had, Isaac, please, if you can hear me loud Isaac, and clear, just yeah, bring down the monitor, your, the volume of your no. monitor, because you can hear volume. a whole, uh, a whole back. Your TV I set, just bring down the volume. Back. We can hear a whole back uh, from uh, that uh, area. All right, let's leave the Nigerian Premier Football League and go straight to Europe. Action also over the weekend for La Liga. Real Madrid, they scored four, but uh, yesterday night, Barcelona against Atletico Madrid at Wanda Metropolitano. They showed their supremacy. Uh, Jao Felix getting a goal. Lewandowski uh, also getting a goal in that game. It was thrilling against Atletico Madrid at Wanda Metropolitano. And then Sevilla against Serta Vigo. It was 2-1 in favor of Serta Vigo who sacked their coach. That is um, a former Liverpool coach. Uh, we have uh, Las Palmas uh, lost at home to Almeria. Good one for Almeria. Getting the win in as how many games? Uh, uh, Villarreal beat Valencia 1-0 and Rayo beat Real Betis 2-0 uh, in that game. Now, let's, these are some of the games for the weekend. Let's quickly look at uh, the La Liga table and see where Real Madrid is standing. They now have 72 points ahead of Barcelona, who are second uh, virtue of that win against uh, Atletico Madrid. Barca is uh, second, 64 points. Girona has now moved to the third position with 62 points. We have Athletic Bilbao on the fourth position with 56 points. Atletico Madrid, they lost their game. They have 55 points. Real Sociedad, sixth with 46 points. We have Real Batiste on the seventh position with 42 points. Valencia, eight with 40 points and zero goal difference. We have Villarreal on the ninth position, minus four and 38 uh, uh, points. We have Getafe on the tenth position with 38 points and minus five let's look at the flip side of the table quickly we have Ameria. they still remain at the bottom of the table with 30 points but it's a good one for them getting that win over the weekend we have granada uh on the on the 19th 19th position with 14 points cadiz 18 22 points we have seta vigo 17 with 27 points sevilla is 16 with 28 points rio 15 29 points and while las Palmas on the 11th position with 37 points now uh isaac i don't think real madrid will relinquish this title they are actually looking like a runaway winner of the league they have 72 points to barcelona who is second with uh, 65 points and uh, for barca uh, they showed their class dominance against atletico madrid away uh, three goals to nothing atletico didn't get any goal at all in that game the likes of Depay, Morata didn't come to the party and it was a sad one for Diego Simone at his uh, home ground yes Barcelona made a huge statement I even though that statement will probably not give them the title but to have gone to the metropolitan and get a 3-0 victory over a stubborn Atletico Madrid 
just bounce came from you know putting Inter Milan out of the Champions League was a massive result for them. So it, it's a good one. And for Real Madrid, I think they are as good as you know dry with the title. They just need to be consistent. They need to remain uh, focused. And for Girona, I think they are already going back to where they belong. Uh, you know they started the season on fire. Uh, it looks as if they are going to displace both uh, Real Madrid and Barcelona. Mm -hmm. Probably create an upset in the La Liga this season. However, that upset will not happen. That upset will not happen for Girona. All right, let's go straight to the uh, English FA Cup. There were games, cup games, uh, also the league games. But let's look at the FA Cup in England over the weekend. Let's quickly have the result. And Isaac, you react to one of those results because it's your team. Chelsea beat uh, Leicester City 4-2 at Stamford Bridge. Manchester United at extra time beat Liverpool 4-3. Uh, Coventry City, surprisingly, went to Molyneux to beat Wolves 3-2. And then we have Manchester City at Etihad beat Newcastle United 2-0. Let's look at the semi-final pairing. We'll just look at that also. And Isaac, you react to both the results. And then the pairing. Coventry City will play Manchester United and Manchester City will take on Chelsea. The, all these games, well, the two games will happen at the Wembley Stadium before the final. And now, as the committee for Manchester United, they left it late. It was a big one. And uh, I think with this victory, it has saved uh, Ten Hag's uh, job a little, in 10 seconds. I don't think so, because they still have a lot of games to play this season. Unfortunately, this team has to be consistent. So don't be surprised. They will lose embarrassingly to another team <laughs> the next game they're playing. Okay, the semi final Perry, Coventry City against Manchester United, Chelsea, Man City. Well, it looks as if United will be in the finals, but that will be uh, a joke too far. Looking at what Coventry played against Wolves, they are too forward, and anything playing too forward will give a team like United big problems. So United need to get their hearts together and get it through. For Man City, Chelsea, Ah, it's a bit tough. But I think I will see Chelsea making this into the finals. Okay, you see Chelsea making it to the final. Also, Manchester United likely might make it to the final. Coventry City, who last won this title in 1987. That is a way, way long back. And it was a sweet victory for them at Molineux against Wolves. 3-2, it ended. And they were so happy to get to the semi-final of the FA Cup. Chelsea, Manchester City, Wembley will be on fire when all of these games comes up on April, uh, the, I think the second weekend of April uh, this year. All right, that is the uh, size of the package on the program this morning. Isaac, thanks for joining me on 360 Sports. It was a wonderful one having you on the show. It's a pleasure, Emmanuel. Thank you. All right, that is it. And to all our athletes, as a Brumer and co, all of the track soldiers, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, just do us proud in the African Games 2023. We wish them well. And that is it on the program. I am Emmanuel Fashimin. Say thanks for watching.